Hey guys, Nergu back here with another video, and today I'm going to be showing you how to record OBS with reduced lag. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to download OBS, what to change in the settings, and where to find your recordings in your files. The difference between this video and my last video on how to record with OBS, which was posted about three years ago, is this is a much newer version and my last one turned out quite laggy. And you're able to record what you play in Jamshadash. To download OBS, you simply type up OBS into Google. Just click OBS open broadcast software or download either one works it's very simple and you just click on whichever uh, type of computer you have and it will download it for you so I click Windows and it automatically downloads of course I already have it so I won't download it all right now that you have OBS downloaded you should have something that looks fairly similar to this black screen ignore these and these and it might be a bit of a different color as well maybe a darker but you can change that in settings and that's what I'm about to show you so go up to the top left and go to file settings or you can just press settings down at the bottom right and it will open this little tab to change the theme of OBS, just go here to theme, and you can change it to any one of these four themes. Okay, so the only setting we are really going to change is to reduce the amount of lag while recording uh, Geometry Dash or I guess any full screen application, but this is mainly for Geometry Dash. So go to output, go to recording and you are going to see this and it isn't going to say FLV it's probably going to say MP4 um, if it says MP4 change it to either FLV or you can also try MKV eh, MKV MKV well, MP4 files are a bit better quality but they're going to lag quite a bit more or at least I have learned that from experience I will show you the difference between some of these uh, file recording formats um, at the end of the video but for now just change it to FLV press apply and you should be done with settings okay next thing we're gonna do is set up so you can actually record in full screen so now we're gonna look at this thing called scenes you're gonna press the plus button or you can right click here and we're gonna make a scene called let's say recording geom tree dash okay make sure you're inside of it and we're gonna add some sources inside of this scene so press add again and you want to add a game capture because we are capturing our game geometry dash okay in here it's fine to set it to capture any full screen application, so leave it as that default. The only thing you want to change is scroll down to the bottom and click capture third party overlays such as Steam. So it can actually capture Steam games. You press OK. Two more things you might want to add into sources is audio input capture, which allows you to capture your voice while recording a video. So you can set it to either your mic um, I will set it to my Razor Kraken Ultimate mic, boom. Or you can just have it as default, so you just, it picks it up from your computer's mic. The other thing you want to add is a audio output capture. Audio output capture will allow you to capture the sound of the game you're playing, so let's add that. And let's set that as my headphone speakers, but you can also set it to default so it just picks up from your computer's speakers. Obviously there's different things you can play around with like filters and properties um, of these sources. Right now all you have to do is press start recording and click into your Steam game. I'd, I'm going to click into Geometry Dash.
So my computer may not have shown much of a difference between these three files, and this isn't guaranteed to reduce lag, but um, I really suggest you try it out if you are having lagging issues, because it might actually reduce your lag. The last thing I want to quickly show you is where to find uh, where your recordings are going. So go back to settings, and you want to go to output. Go to recording, and it's right above where our recording format was. It's the recording path. So you can go in here and put a path in here, or you can just go browse um, and go wherever you want in your files until you want your recordings to drop in that specified area. So here I'm just in my videos, and they will be placed in here. But if I want to have my recordings go into the GD recordings uh, file, but these are all edited of mine, but if I were to, I just click into there and press select folder. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial for today. If you guys enjoy Geometry Dash content, I highly suggest you subscribe to this channel because I do post once in a while. Anyways, see you guys next time.